Hello, welcome. My name is San. This is a reading today for Libra. There are no dates on my readings. I trust that when they find you, if they resonate, then they're yours at that time. Libra, I'm doing your reading with a blend of decks. You'll see a mix of several in your spread today. So we've got Fishbowl and the Split. I like this card. And Cry for the Moon at the bottom of the deck. Okay, it's something like, how do I describe this? You're beginning your reading with somebody that you are, I want to say very familiar with. You've probably spent a lot of time in their vicinity, although you might not be like super close to them. You see them regularly. They're showing you a new side or a new aspect of them. And I feel like that's kind of catching you on by surprise. And I feel like these are their energies that they're kind of allowing something about themselves, something strange and unusual perhaps to be kind of amplified or perceived because of this cry for the moon because there's this idea of wanting to make profound connection it's like profound connection is not they're they don't have uh the kind of connection that they're looking for in their life cry for the moon is talking about like uh they're they're desiring a connection or to know somebody who has depth to them that has, or, you know, similar, similar, uh, unusual aspects to them. The fishbowl talks about that too, right? About kind of being like alien or unusual that they are alien and, and or unusual. And they're looking for a, a, sim, a connection that will fulfill that need to, you know, to be met. Okay, overall energy from the What We've Forgotten Oracle for Libra. Star Consciousness. That's incredible. So it's kind of what I'm talking about, right? And imagination. Imagination is a little bit like the card. I can't remember what the card was, but it was talking about being really fascinated with somebody because they have a collection of unique things. And so you want to explore it. It's like, it's like they're flashing this to you so that you, they're trying to draw you in. The star consciousness is just hitting on this idea that I was explaining here about how they're kind of alien. They're feeling alien in the environment and they're looking for connection, right? Which is, I want to say is really surprising to you. Actually, this aspect of it is surprising to me as well, because it's not how I was perceiving this. I was just perceiving it as somebody that you've known for some time is showing you a side of themselves that you've never perceived before, because the emperor is the first card on the table here. And I always talk about this guy as being cloaked, right? He's difficult to get to know. It could just be somebody who's just got a lot of armor, right? A lot of defensiveness, for example. They're not easy to access. But for the first time ever, I've been working with this deck since the beginning of my channel. I kind of noticed this weird little like goatee on him. When this card first popped up, I was like, the Emperor's got this goatee that I've never notice before and it got it stopped me in my tracks and I was looking at him like I this is a side of you I've never seen before this is an aspect of you I've never seen before what is this about how did you keep that out of my view all of this time kind of thing right so there's something that's your reaction to this individual it's like somebody maybe that you know from work right maybe it's like somebody in your neighborhood or your community somebody that you pass by on a regular basis Suddenly you're not passing by them. Suddenly you're suddenly st stopping in your tracks and wanting to lean in closer. Because what is that detail? I've never seen that before. And it's actually this fishbowl cry for the moon, right? With the five of fire and the five of earth, this is the fascinating reaction that you're having. With the five of fire is almost looking to me like suddenly like butterflies in your belly kind of a thing suddenly feeling like completely conflicted suddenly like I'm not understanding what I'm feeling or thinking or perceiving here in this situation and with the five of earth coming next it's like and therefore kind of stepping away hiding away so your first instinct is to lean in closer right maybe leaning in closer 
it seems kind of harmless and, and insignificant at first, but when you lean in closer, you start getting glimpses of this stuff. And that's where it's like, whoa, wait a minute. What just happened? What just happened? I need to kind of go back to my corner and hide out for a little bit and consider consider what it is that, that the emperor has just revealed to me. Which is interesting because the Leo extended had a similar kind of a thing, but this is feels like it's in your present moment. It was talking about Leo like way in the past had kind of an interaction like this where somebody may have kind of let known that they were other and it, it was too much for them at the time. And it's like decades have passed since they even thought of that moment. Now it's coming back to the surface. For you, it feels like this is happening for you right now. This, it's subtle, but it's big, right? It's like, it's like they're, they're, maybe it's like they're signaling something to you that they know is going to have a lot of meaning for you. So even though it seems like a pretty small thing, most people wouldn't even pick up on it at all. For you, it means everything, right? It's like they're using a key phrase or they're, they're, maybe they're carrying or that you found a book in their office that is like the book. It's interesting. Is that kind of a library? No, it's more like a, I guess there's some books there. It's like you go into their space and you're finding objects in their environment that are just telling you that they're a completely different person than you ever suspected. And that's the thing. It's almost like you haven't really spent a lot of time maybe even considering them at all, right? This emperor energy is kind of like, you they're playing a specific role and you've never really pushed beyond that they have uh they have a a persona that they project and you've never been you've never had a reason to it's kind of like uh, they're just part of the environment you haven't actually really considered them much at all but then they're suddenly getting your attention and they're getting your attention in a really big way right to the point where you're feeling almost like off balance about it with the with the easy does it card coming next, it's like you have to go home and meditate. Like, what am I going to do about this? It's interesting, actually, the five of fire, the five of wands. This, for some reason, always makes me think it's like inside the gut. It's like either uh, feeling really anxious and, you know, a lot of, of uh, uncomfortable energies. For you, it's kind of this butterflies and it's like suddenly everything in your, in your gut is just like, like you're, it's butterflies in the stomach kind of thing, right? So, but it's interesting that this card, this, this activity in the solar plexus kind of card is coming up and then this next to it, which has got all of this kind of fire in the core, right? So there's something there about how it's like, it's activating, it's activating you in the solar plexus, which is interesting because it's not necessarily the heart space. Right now it's in the core, which is actually maybe even tied into identity, if I'm not mistaken. It's like confidence, self-worth, identity. It's really hitting you there, which is fascinating because the emperor is all about persona and identity and kind of projection and playing a character, playing a role. It's like suddenly their role is shifting. Suddenly somebody that you've always seen this way is showing up to work this way. And it's like, but it's not, it's not that drastic, but to you it is. It's like you, whatever it is for you, you can see that distinction. But I want to say that they still look exactly like they usually do. It's just that they have like an extra little bit of something, right? The extra, extra little bit of bling that is, is just like, pointing in this direction to you. So it's like you have to kind of go back to your space and consider what exactly is going on here. Maybe actually kind of meditating on it, seeking to seeking to pull in more information, maybe asking for clarity or context here. And then with the night of earth coming up next, it's like, and then it's almost like the next day going in, going back to work going back into their environment, but doing it in like almost um, guarded. Where it feels like you've always been very open. You've always been very open and unprotected. And like there, it's like the polar opposite. You're very open and vulnerable and accessible. And they've always been really closed. And now that they're starting to open up, it's like you're kind of putting this barrier of protection or it's just talking about what the easy does it and this slow moving energy here it's just taking talking about you taking it slow being being really cautious in your approach to them 
or maybe just kind of being in disbelief, kind of tiptoeing back into their space the next day, thinking that maybe it was all your imagination, something like that, which is funny because it's the, the imagination card. Did I just imagine all of that? It's like, it's just a flash, right? Just a glimpse, just a, just a little glitter and glimmer in their eye that's communicating so much to you. With the seven of earth coming next though, it feels like when you go back in there, it's like that spark is still there and it's 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 like it um it affects you physically maybe even right because here it's like the solar plexus that is activated with the seven of earth there's like the crown and then there's all of these imprints in the body that are just like being being um considered something like that it's like it's being it's being considered here is the five of earth here it's like all of these things what am I trying to say here? It's like, it's just outside of your awareness. After you spend some time kind of in consideration and meditation, the next time you see them, it's almost like it brings it home. Something like that. It's like, it's like there's this information in the, in the atmosphere, or these, these epiphanies that are floating around, but you haven't quite 11, 11 on the timer there. You haven't quite pulled them in yet, but after some consideration and some time in meditation, and uh, a, a cautious approach, it's like this is happening. I don't know what this is or how to explain it, but see what I mean? It's like all of this in the environment is suddenly kind of like sinking in. It could be this. Okay, this is fascinating. Like I was saying, you go into their office, into their space, and you see some, it's almost like they've got a little figurine on the shelf and it's, it's significant. It communicates something to you that you didn't expect. You didn't expect they were a fan of this series of books or something like that, that is just blowing you away because it's significant to you and you never suspected it from them, for example. So, okay, you know how, again, this I keep bringing up this idea of looking for a new place. So many times that I've moved in my life and every time I would go into a new like apartment or a new house and you do like the walkthrough, right? The first time you're in a place, you know, at least for me, this has been my experience. I always kind of pass through too quickly. And then I feel like I got a good sense of the place. I know if I like it or if I don't, maybe that's why it's like, you know, whether it's a, it's a, you know, whether it activates you, like where the things light up, you get goosebumps or not, or whether it doesn't like, it's very apparent. So, but then if I end up moving into that place, as I get there on my own time and spend time, you know, in that space, there's so much there that I, that just, I didn't notice. And it seems like it should be obvious, but I just skimmed right past it. And I'm always telling myself next time, take your time. Right? So there's something about that, about that's maybe what this is. It's like the first time that you went in their office and saw this star consciousness being flashed at you. It's like you just got like a glimpse and then you bolted, for example. But now the second time you go, back, maybe that's what this card is talking about. It's talking about taking your time, moving through the environment with awareness and inspecting like every detail kind of a thing, right? Being on high alert and all of this kind of, it's all landing. It's all, it's like all these activations. It's like, it's like your body is saying yes, 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 yes. Okay. Okay. That was a lot of energy. <laughs> okay. So then we got the tower card coming up next. This is, okay. This is interesting. This tower was in a reading the other day and it might it actually came in with this road less travel because I remember talking about the the different paths around so the tower I want to say is belongs to this emperor card so even though they have kind of signaled to you and maybe it wasn't even intentional that's the interesting thing but I feel like it is okay maybe it's not intentionally directed at you but they're definitely kind of like letting more of themselves be visible you know, not really having any, um, 
specific person in mind to kind of pick up the signal. You see what I mean? So it's not necessarily that they're trying to connect with you. They're just becoming more visible. They're becoming more authentically visible. And so therefore it's catching your eye. But with the tower card here, there's something still about the fact that there is, it's still an obstacle. It's still a challenge to get to know them. They're not easy to access which is interesting because then it ties into the Virgo reading about all of this, like you can open the door. This is like, maybe this is a Virgo saying you can, you can open the, the door, but there, it takes more than that. You got to make it, you got to make it like obvious how to reach you, how to connect with you. Right. So it's like, it's like this emperor is still having some challenge in that regard. It's like, even though they're expressing a desire to be more authentic, to be more present or accessible, it's, it's not as easy. It's not as clear as that, right? There's still this huge kind of, this, this I call my blind spot card, right? Because it reminds me of like the optical nerve going through the retina and the fact that there's an area that you don't even realize you can't perceive. So it's something like that with the emperor. There's something, it's like, you're not even realizing that there's more to this one. It's like, it's just not even part of your consciousness. But now with this kind of road less traveled and this desire being peaked within, within you, you have this, this hope with the hopeful heart coming up next that you can somehow kind of, um, make your way into the the center of this make your way into the core of the of their energy into their space in a sense something like that if like hope, hoping to be invited in hoping that if you can kind of spend more time around them that you're going to discover depth within them that you hadn't you just hadn't noticed it before right so that's now your big desire at this point is that you're going to, you're going to be able to kind of like penetrate the fortress and discover that there's this like massive heart there, that there's this incredible character, that there's, that there's incredible depth there, right? That, that is very, that's very rich and dense. So, but then there's this interesting part here that is kind of like, with the road less traveled in the six of fire, it's almost talking about that the way that you need to approach them needs to be unconventional, right? With the road less traveled, the six of fire talking about in order to, to succeed, to succeed in this, it's almost like you have to take a hot air balloon kind of like over, you have to take an unconventional path to get to them because for whatever reason they're difficult to get to like in the Virgo reading there's all this like it's they're off the beaten path they're not or you, you can't you can't just walk up to them and say it you have to kind of roundabout way something like that but the interesting thing is with the six of fire and the life of the party there's something here about maybe it's just start with trying to work with them because you've got the three of earth at the end of the reading here, which talks about like collaboration. It's almost got this feeling of approach them, um, showing your success, having that be like the thing that you lead with, right? Because the six of wands is the success card. You see this hot air balloon. It's really emphasizing multiple. It's like the, the way to get the way to magnify you in their awareness, if you so desire, but it feels like you do, because like I said, there's all this, like you're, all the boxes are being checked. Once you, once you go back to investigate, once you kind of crack this and you get time to, to actually look into this and realize that there actually is depth and intrigue here in a sense. Um, what was I saying? Something about like, if, if, if you are interested in getting their attention, if you're interested in magnifying your own self, because that's what they're doing here at the beginning, they're kind of fishbowling themselves, kind of putting, putting themselves out there in a way that they haven't in the past. And if you want to, for them to, if you want to catch their eye, it's almost like approach them with your successes somehow because it feels like this could be some sort of a work dynamic for example i mean they are coming through as the emperor so it's like they could be your superior perhaps um but it's like and it doesn't have to be a work situation but it's something like 
to, to really highlight your successes and approach them that way. Because I'm seeing this success here as being multiplied. It has nothing to do with life of the party. It's not a party. It's talking about all of these balloons, all of these successes that you've had in the past to almost like make them visible, to put them on display somehow and have that be the beacon that draws their awareness to you to show how successful you are. I know it seems like it's almost shallow or something, but I feel like it's there's more to it than that, right? Because it has to do with maybe the things that you've been successful in are things that have like a lot of depth to them that are very heartfelt, heart-driven and authentic. And so if you kind of display all of your accomplishments the quality of those accomplishments is going to communicate like the depth of your heart. It's something like that. And because of that, we're ending with the three of pentacles, which feels like there will be a desire sparked within them, I believe, or ideally, that would make it seem like a great idea to kind of come together in some regard, to put your resources together. It's interesting though, because there's this kind of is that about this little kind of fairy here and this little fairy here I don't know if that's significant but so basically that's that's what the message is here it's basically saying go in it's almost like go in like extravagant like more extravagant than you generally would which is really interesting because they're kind of this um they may be more concerned with status and success and such than you are. You seem to come through as this very kind of authentic, grounded, very open person. But it's like, it's almost like Matt, meet them where they are in some regard. Because like I said, even if you show up with a lot of bling in some regard, there's, it's obvious that it's high quality, that there's, that there's integrity and heart and authenticity involved in your creations or in everything that you bring to the table. You see what I mean? It would be obvious. So the three of earth at the end of the reading talking about that, there seems to maybe, maybe you're coming together in some sort of, of professional manner, although it feels much more potentially intimate than that. It feels like it may be starting out as almost like this business meeting or this business proposal. And that's why it's ending with this three of earth that feels like some sort of a, like a working together situation. But that could be where it, it starts, where you begin having the opportunity to really get to know each other. You see what I'm saying? Okay, so I'm gonna continue to create, an ex to continue to pull cards, create an extended. If you're interested in that, link is in the description. And if not, I will see you next time, Libra. Thanks, babe.